Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we are testing every single mask in the world, even the ones without names, sent to me by Peter from Brooklyn. All right, Peter, let's do this. Let's check this out. So this one is very interesting. I should blur out Peter's address there. <laughs> this is very interesting. Um, Dear Mr. Armbrust, I really enjoyed your YouTube videos. Here's a box of can 95s you might find curious to test, question mark. Peter, you're right, I am. I bought these masks in June 2020 when N95s became near impossible to find. At some point, I found some other masks and put these KN95s aside. Probably a good idea. I've always wondered though, did it receive the advertised filtering? Thanks in advance, Peter. All right, Peter, I am also curious because it's basically illegal to have the stand to follow the uh, the GB2626, which is the Chinese KN95 standard, and not put the manufacturer name on the box. There's no manufacturer name on this box. In fact, when we first saw this, we said, is the name of the manufacturer ergonomic design? I don't think so. All right, let's open this up. Made in China. These are just flopping around in here. There's no quality certificate. No quality certificate. Oof. So part of the uh, GB2626 standard is that you actually say that on the mask itself, I believe. So the fact it doesn't say that on there leads me to believe this is probably a fake. If it just says KN95, I wouldn't trust it. All right, let's go ahead and get this in the clamp. It's a little bit different test. This is the N95 test. The same test that NIOSH uses, except for we're not using beeswax, that's right. Beeswax is part of the KN95 or the N95 standard. Put it in there. This is uh, really a lot more simpler for me to load and should get approximately the same results. All right, let's let it rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. We're doing it a little bit differently than we do with surgical masks. We're using NACL instead of latex particles. If you want to figure out more, putting a link there, talk about the different setup. Right away, I'm seeing that the breathability is super high uh, for most KN95s. Uh, it's 164. Um, so interesting, interested to see what it actually performs at. Um, you know, normally I'm like looking at their website, I'm trying to figure it out, but there's really not a lot here. All we've got is the box to go on. Made in China. It's not even saying that it's, oh wait, production date. So it may have, oh, okay, product material. No, I thought for a second, you know, that may be in Chinese here. My Chinese friends, maybe you can translate that for me. It could be the uh, name of the, of the company is there. And we're just missing it because it's got the batch number in the production life. So um, pretty standard design. If you look at it, ear loops, not good. Um, at a lot of KN95s, it's really hard to get the, uh, uh, the, the welds right there. Um, a lot of times this will come off. That's pretty good. That's not bad. And this was an open package, so I'm not really sure that, uh, you know, uh, testing the, uh, the smell is gonna be fair in this case. It's a pretty good quality mask, and when you look at the results, surprisingly, even though there's like no manufacturer name or anything, they made a good mask. Efficiency 99.356, 99.356. So, Peter, you got lucky on that one. Uh, Weird that they're, I think, not following the full standard of KN95, but um, they made a good mask. So there you go. You were you were pretty well protected. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, the review of the generic uh, KN95. If you can figure out what this brand is, let me know so we can put it on our website. Otherwise, I don't know how useful uh, posting this is going to be for other people. Um, I guess if it looks exactly like the box, maybe you can find it. If you can figure this out, I'm actually very curious about that. All right, I will catch you guys on the next test. Thank you so much.